So this is the Cha Empath light, and it's connected to a fence <laughs> with the Cha clamp, claw claw, with a 32 and a half foot counterpoise that goes all the way out to the door. So that way is facing south behind me is going to be north and to the right is going to be the west where the sun is going down and then you have uh, a uh, choke so that no common current will go through there to the radio all right let's go inside and see how the SWR is and this type of uh, configuration okay now I'm in the car and as the rig expert is calculating the SWR chart. Let's talk a little bit about the Cha Empath Light. Now, the Cha Empath Light at home, at my home, uh, does better at the park, and that probably has to do with the conductivity of the, of the ground here at home, which is pretty amazing. Um, all this time I've been trying to deploy the Cha uh, and pass light on the car. I want to put the antenna on the car, but the claw doesn't seem to do a very good job. The claw tends to have this like um, uh, like configuration where you clamp it on a pipe or something, or maybe at a park bench. In this case, I clamped it on a fence, and uh, it's holding. It's a little crooked, but it's doing it's doing its job. So. Let's look at the, let's look at the SWR chart here. Um, at 3.8 right megahertz, uh, you know, or actually, yeah, 3.8 to 4 right, which is this is an approximation. We have an SWR 3.28, which is, you know, in an emergency, it probably will work on the radio. Um, but I wouldn't use it um, for, it, it, it might be stressing your radio too much. Let's look at um, 40 uh, meters, right? 712, somewhere around here. S uh, close enough. 723, SWR of 2.3, and it's going even lower, right? As we go down a little bit right here, like 7.099. We have an SWR 2.8. That's acceptable, sort of. It's going to stress the radio. And of course, if you have a, a tuner, it's going to be even better. It's recommended that you have a tuner. And all this time, I've been trying to lower that portion of the, you know, of the Cha and Pass light by putting different... Um, radials being in different places and the only thing that seems to work is if you if you're i think if your ground connectivity is different uh better it's going to lower that swr the lowest i've gotten i think is well i want to say two four two point four then again i want to say two seven two point seven but it's in the twos. It's ne it's never been in the ones, but at two point eight, eh, you know, uh, can you can you can you um, make contacts with that? Yes, it might be too stressful for the radio though. Probably twenty. Uh, some people are right now are probably being. What are you talking about? You know, <laughs> nothing. You know, above two, it should be one point five or close to one. Yes, of course. Um, some thought is if you're close to two, right, or below two, you're fine. Uh, 20 meters, uh, 14, 14.1, right, 14.1. I like to be at 14.3, the Maritime Mobile Network. That's close enough. Uh, that here, we have an SWR of 1.88 which is terrific. That, for sure, I can use uh, for 20 meters. 
Let's go to 17 meters at 18.1 or close to it. 18.1, close enough, all right. 18.12 megahertz, SWR 1.5, not bad, I like it. Uh, 15 meters at 21.2, right, something like that. 21, uh, 21, 21.29 megahertz, SWR 1.46, very acceptable for 15 meters, and then 12 meters, 24, 9, 24, 9, 24, 9, 24, 8, 2, very close, 24.82 megahertz, SWR 2.1, pretty good, not bad, probably, probably start using a tuner then, if you're in that school of thought of anything above 2, and then 10 meters is what? 28.3. 28.3. Yeah, 28.3, right? 28.3 to 29.7. Yeah. It's in that range. It's at 2.6, 2.7. So tw anywhere in the 29 megahertz range, right? A little bit less than the 28. We're, we're looking at 2.6 SWR, 2.7. Again, uh, it might strain the um, the radio, and the tuner would be probably good. I've seen better numbers, and I'm, I'm feeling that, uh, or I'm thinking that uh, I think the jaw is working better if the spike is in the ground and really taking consideration of the ground. I was thinking maybe because of the height of the chaw, maybe the the counterpoise will will do something for it with, if the counterpoise is high. But it doesn't seem to be that. Doesn't seem to be the case. Um, and then uh, that's it. Um, you know, fifty meter, fifty megahertz is over here, which. Uh, you can see it has a SWR around two, which is not bad. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna look at the bands. We're gonna look at uh, um, the 40 meter band and the, and the uh, 20 meter band and see what's up. Okay, so let's look at uh, the 20 meter band right now. Unfortunately, the band conditions are not that great. Um, there's a few people on there that uh, you can sort of see. There's a good signal right here. Lost it. Have you ever noticed that? Where you get to a signal, or you're trying to, and then boom, it just disappears. Um, and this person's in California. Okay, Matt, uh, my name is Tim, Tango, India, Mexico, over. Oh, California, who knows where in California? Um, I'm staying for a little while until February, and then February I go to Florida, over. Oh. Okay, so as you can see there. Oh, it's a beautiful day today, very, very hot. It's, um, it's like 34 degrees Celsius, over. Yeah, 34. Uh, centigrade no centigrade yes so that's um, that's 20 meters let's look at 40 meters here and you can see digital is really happening look at that so that's a good sign for me uh, when you see digital like that you know maybe the band conditions could be good And one thing you want to also, uh, when you're dealing with HF, you know, you want to be in lower side then for 40 meters because everybody sort of agreed to be in that way. Well, I don't hear anything. Again, band conditions are not great. It hasn't been great for about a week and a half or something. 
Well, for me, here in LAX, here in the city, after 5 o'clock, uh, today is a Sunday and I didn't start using the radio until 3 or so, trying to figure out how to implement the jaw and pass uh, light on the car, but the claw is not going to work. Okay, and then the other bands, they're dead. 18. Well, there's some, some digital thing going on, but no, nothing. 21. Nothing. 24. Nothing. The higher bands don't seem to work very nicely. Um, after... You know, in the late afternoon, early evening. But then again, those conditions might change as we get into our next solar cycle. And in 50, nothing. Now, the 10 meter band, or I should say the 30 meter band, right? The 10 megahertz. That's all digital CW, so there's no voice there. So we're probably gonna stick around here for a little bit, see if we can get a couple of contacts. Um, but all this is noise. Uh, and then we can lower down the RF gain a bit. Uh, that is the signal probably. It's in the noise. That's too bad. So one thing to take into consideration especially when you started hf and i'm still new at hf so <laughs> uh, i'm still learning but um to me it seems like a lot of the times even though you have a good antenna the chai and pass light is a very very good antenna apparently a lot of the times the band conditions are not that great and some people will say, well, you know, you're, you're not at a park or there's not, uh, there's too many buildings or, you know, you didn't set up the antenna right because, you know, I had a great time, you know, that day. And I'm sure there's somebody in the U.S. is having great time right now with their uh, deployment or with their particular antenna. And that's what makes... Uh, ham radio interesting and and also sometimes a little bit frustrating because you know you want to talk to people you you want to see how far you can communicate and a lot of the times it's just you know the band conditions are not as great um and then finding that right deployment finding the right setup is important uh, and then from there you know you refine your antenna your systems so uh, don't get discouraged if a situation like this happens. Uh, you know, you always, uh, you should uh, uh, continue, you know, your exploration uh, into uh, setting up your antenna and, and, and working with your radio. So this is, uh, this is it. I hope to see you very soon. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this type of content. Uh, please consider subscribing and I hope to see you soon. This is Frank Whiskey, Charlie Zero Oscar.